Hello, good evening guys and welcome to another episode of a new series which is Answered Prayer. So last night I shared to you um, a story of an answered prayer of a woman na dumating yung kanyang unang answered prayer when she was in grade 4. And for the night, I'm going to share with you my own answered prayer. And the reason why is because itong answered prayer ko na to, ang pinagkaiba neto sa lahat ng mga dasal na sinagot sa akin na Lord, was ito yung matagalan. Yung matagal kong inantay, dumaan ng napakaraming taon at panahon. So, it was only last year that God finally said yes to my prayer. And it was all worth it when I tried to look back um, last year. So it started in 2007 while I was um, processing my papers to get where I am today. And during those times, there were a lot of humps and bumps along the way. Um, and daming abiriga. Um, even though nagawa ko na lahat ng kailangan kong gawin, naipasa ko na lahat ng kailangan, and still, God is not giving me the answer that I want. And last year, when it came to me, that finally nakuha ko na siya, I realized when I tried to look back on those years um, na nag-aantay ako, I realized that God was making me wait because He made me a part of someone else's answered prayer. Yun bang, while He was um, saying wait to me, He was actually saying yes to someone else's prayer. At ito ay yung mga panalangin ng taong malapit sa akin, ng mga taong, uh, ng mga mahal ko sa buhay. So, yung paghihintay ko sa sagot na gusto ko, nagkaroon ng purpose yung pag-aantay ko. Hindi na sayang yung panahon na pinag-antay ako ni Lord. Binigyan niya ako ng purpose at ginawa niyong productive at fruitful yung paghihintay ko. So, I waited for 12 long years. And when I finally got, yes, it was all worth it. Napakasarap ng, ng pakiramdam na makuha yung sagot in God's time, in His time. So, kung meron kang prayer na hanggang sa ngayon ay hindi pa binibigay ni Lord yung kasagutang gusto mong marinig sa Kanya at pinag-aantay ka niya. Maybe, He is also making you a part of someone else's answered prayer. That while He was saying wait to you, He is also saying yes to someone dear to you. It could be a friend, a family member, a loved one. So everything has a purpose. Lahat may panahon. Lahat may tamang panahon. Ibibigay ni Lord yung para sa atin. And the wait will be worth it. Hindi masasayang ang pag-aantay mo. So let us close this uh, video with my favorite Bible verse na pag nag ako, ito yung nagbibigay sa akin ng uh, security at assurance. And it is a verse from Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work for the good to them that love God them that are called according to his purpose so stay blessed stay safe and have a good night
So, ito ay pahabal na video para um, sa shout out. So, shout out to some of my friends uh, in Manila. Lalang lalo na kay Kimi, Kim John Victoria, kay Frando, at kay Sammy. Miss na miss ko na kayo. And hopefully, um, magkita kita tayo as soon as possible. <laughs> I don't know kung ilang years yun. Pero I miss you so much. And uh, miss na miss ko na yung mga lakad natin. Especially yung mga food trips. Take care and love you guys.